this movie, I'm going to run through a few of the cool features on Plugin Boutique's new soft synth, Carbon Electra, showing you the synthesis behind this fat bassline I've just put together. Instead of giving an overview of everything on the synth, which you can see from the promo movies, I'll just highlight a few of my favourite things about it. First up, you've got Oscillator Sync available in the Oscillator sections, which means you can use Oscillators 2 and 4 to add some interesting character and harmonic texture to your sounds. For instance, starting off with the initialised patch here, which is just a square wave from Oscillator 1. I'll now turn up Oscillator 2 in the mixer section, so we have two identical square waves coming from each oscillator. And one thing that's great about this synth is that it shows you the waveform of your patch the whole time, so we can immediately see why we're getting the phase cancellation effects that these combined oscillators are creating, due to slight differences in the phase of each waveform. So if I want to get rid of these effects, I can turn on the trigger switch in each section, which then means the phases are locked so the sound will be more consistent. And you can see then how bringing oscillator 2 in and out simply brings up the level of our square wave as both oscillators constructively interfere. So if we now change the pitch of oscillator 2, then we can create different intervals, with some being more tuneful than others. But in this default mode, all we're doing is layering another higher pitch square wave, or whatever waveform you select, on top. So we could maybe try a sawtooth instead, to make the sound a bit richer. But what we'll do now is turn on sync, which then means that oscillator 2's waveform now re-triggers every time oscillator 1's does. So the result is that the two stay locked together, and the overriding frequency is that of oscillator 1, with oscillator 2 just adding some additional harmonic content now. So oscillator 2 can be used to shape the higher frequency content in the sound, without dominating the pitch like it does with sync turned off. So now what we can do is use one of the LFOs to bring the pitch of oscillator 2 up and down, to create some movement in that harmonic content. normally like it when the rate is quite slow, so the effect is subtle. But you can play with the rate and amount of pitch modulation to create all sorts of different effects. A few more of my favourite things on the synth are the various additional level controls in each of the sections, which mean you've got some nice options for creating warm, analogue type sounds. For instance, in the oscillator mix section there's a plus 12 dB switch, which increases the gain of the oscillators, meaning that when they're set to max, they can be used to overdrive the filter section. So you can hear how much fuller the sound gets when the switch is turned on and off. This works particularly well when combined with the saturation switch in the filter section, which saturates the whole filtered signal, rather than just the feedback circuit or resonance. So you can create some really fat sounds using these switches. And you can see that the level is maxed out on the meters there, and that's because there's a limiter on the output, which allows you to add lots of distortion and extra gain without the output clipping. And another useful control in the master section, along with many of the effects sections, is a stereo dial. This is handy for when you have a sound that you don't want to be spread so wide, like a bass preset. So if I increase the number of voices now, tune them a bit too, which makes them sound really wide. Then I can use the stereo dial to bring the sound into the centre, making it completely mono if I want. And I couldn't really not mention the sequencer section at the bottom here, which is one of the six main modulators on the synth, with the two envelopes and three LFOs above. Here you can draw in a curve of up to 16 steps, which can then be used to modulate things like the level, filter cutoff, and oscillator 2 and 4's pitch. So if I make it an 8 step curve with a rate of a quarter note, then we get a 2 bar loop to draw in. And I'll make it modulate the filter cutoff up and down. Then I just choose a curve shape by clicking and dragging up and down on the wave select, 
Then click on a step to draw something in, which I can set to whatever level I like. And there are loads of different shapes to select. But there's also a useful edit option for then freely editing the presets to make slight adjustments or shape them into something completely different. And you can see the cutoff jumping up and down on the filter display too, which is a handy reference. Going back to the bass sound from before though now, I'll show you how you can turn this into a nice sequenced bass line. And that's by using the step envelope section as an arpeggiator, which you do by activating the note switch. After which, each step sets the note the synth plays. So when I hold down a key, you get a bass line playing. And you can see what the values of the notes are on the display at the top, where it shows you the exact value within the 15 semitone range. There's also some slow LFO modulation of the cutoff going on with LFO3 here to create some extra movement. And what I could do is make the step envelope modulate the cutoff as well to make it even more interesting. And maybe have the pitch of oscillator 2, which is our synced oscillator, go up and down as well. And lastly, if I turn up the amp dial on LFO1 now, then I can use it to add a tremolo style effect, so the bass has some more interesting dynamics going on. And it's sounding pretty fat now without any effects being used, but I can of course add any of the five really chunky effects to make the preset even more full on. enjoyed this movie? For more info and to get hold of the synth for yourself, check the product page at pluginboutique.com.